What's up outdoorsman, Greg here, and today I'm showing you how I converted my truck bed into a mobile hunting rig. Now I researched the crap out of this thing. I watched every single video you can imagine on YouTube, and I really dug deep when I wanted to figure out what I wanted to get out of this truck bed camper. And really, I wanted to get five things. First of all, it had to go in and out really, really quickly because maybe it was a quick weekend hunt or I'm just driving up the road or I needed to sleep overnight to hunt turkeys or something like that. I wanted it to be super fast. Second, I don't have a lot of extra space in my storage. I have tons of gear and I just don't have a room to keep a big bulky truck camper setup. So it needed to be small. It needed to go in and out fast. Third, I needed to be able to sleep in the back and still have room for my other gear, like a bow case, a gun case, a cooler, etc. I needed room back here as well. Fourth, I had to be able to sit upright. I saw a lot of videos where people couldn't sit up in their camper and I'm thinking, what if there's bad weather or I need to do some work back here. I get stuck in here for several hours. I didn't want to be crouched over. So I had to be able to sit up straight. Lastly, I had to be able to access gear from inside the cab without getting out and accessing some of the hidden stuff that's under the bed. So those were the, really the five things that I wanted to accomplish out of this. Now, if you want to live in your camper, in your truck bed, this probably isn't the build for you. You probably want something a little bit more complicated. But if you're a weekend warrior like me and you're just using it to get away for you know a week-long hunt or a quick weekend trip somewhere, this is perfect for you. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I set it up and kind of give an overview and a tour. And I uploaded a second video. You can click in the in the description below. You can click to see a kind of a turn by turn or a point by point instruction manual on how I did it. You need uh, material list, cut list, cost list. Everything is going in the step by step video. You can click on that one in the description below. First thing I'm gonna do is build the bed and the storage system so you can see just how fast it goes in here and then I'll talk through each piece. So there you go, the frame is built. It's that fast, super, super easy. Now all that's left to do is throw in my bedding and my storage shelf under here, and I'm ready to rock. And the storage shelf goes in, it fits right in there, right in between the runners. Then basically just throw my bins in here These bins have, uh, they have like cooking gear, camping gear, etc. Just random stuff like that that you'll need. And it just slides in. Just like so. So let me give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of what this, what's in the in the truck bed camper and why it's there. First, let's start with the pull-out drawer. So get a close-up of this. So I basically just tied a rope here and uh, I made it basically the size of my hand and 
it's held here by the knots which is pretty cool just pop that just like that and then pull it straight out it's really easy to do these are my little leg supports i'll show you what these are for here in a minute but uh you just just slide it out there's no no um no rollers no nothing just slides out just like that now i have access to three bins cooking miscellaneous camping got toe straps recovery straps i got all kind of stuff in here all kind of mis miscellaneous gear that you might need and it and it lives in these bins in my garage so if i ever want to go on a trip all i got to do is grab these three bins and throw them in and i know i'm good and, uh, and then i drill little holes abby you can show them the little holes i just drill little holes to make it fit like that just lock these in place these are just regular old camping poles hiking poles rather now they just fit right in there so now i have a, a table so if i want to cook or if i got to put stuff out here i've got a solid solid table that i can work from pretty cool so to put it away i'm not going to put the uh i'm not going to collapse the hiking poles for for you guys so i'm just going to toss them out of the way for now but you can see how easy it is it just it just slides in Here we go. Now, the other thing that I had to have in this camper is I wanted to be able to sit up without having to like bend over and be all crouched down. And so, you, as you can see, you know, I'm not a real big guy, but the net's in the way right now. But I mean, I can totally sit up and I, I'm not having to slump or anything. Uh, if I want to do some work or lounge or whatever, if it's boring, you know, I can just lean back and, and chill here uh, and I'm not super cramped. So that was important for me. I wanted to be able to set up. You can see I still have a ton of space right here. I could put my bow case, I could put a cooler, I can fit all kind of stuff right here in this opening. So many activities! And that was super important to me. And the last thing that was really important is, you know, what if it's raining? What if I needed to do some work if it's at night and I needed to get something out of here? I wanted to be able to have access to my gear without uh, having to get out of the truck, pull the drawer out. So I put this center panel on hinges and I, and I made this little stay here. So basically that right there, I don't know if you can see that or not, but so my panel just comes up and now I have access to all my bins. I can pull a bin out, I can slide it out of the way. I can do whatever I need to do to get access to my gear. So the same thing again, just without the bedding this time. You can see that uh, I put this little hinge here with the little support. So now I can access all my gear. It's raining outside. It's the middle of the night. I don't want to break everything out. I can now have access to anything. So I wanted to make sure that this was nice and solid. So I put threaded inserts into the 2x4 runners. And then I drilled down or bolted down each panel. Well, the front panel and the back panel is bolted down. The middle panel with the hinges is not. Now, again, if you if you want to see step by step how I made that, I I did film the whole process, and I'll put a link in the description below so you can if you want to see more about it. If you want to see how I made this mattress. Um, I put that uh, I did a whole video on that as well I'll put that in the description below so pretty simple project uh, if you had all the materials you can do it really cheaply so um, you know if you don't have to buy wood if you have plywood and two by fours lying around you can make this whole thing for like 40 bucks uh, super cheap super easy so that's my truck bed camper hopefully I get some use out of it this season hopefully if you guys are doing some hunting trips later this year you have something like this save a little bit of money don't have to pay for hotels so uh, hopefully you got something out of this hopefully it makes you a better hunter thanks for watching you guys get outdoors